hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm working on an Easter egg African mask project. I saw these modern African masks on Pinterest and so I decided to do a DIY version. Although my personal preference is more traditional African mask and textiles, I don't believe that African decor necessarily has to be one way. So here is my inspiration for this project. So for this project, I'm using a wooden egg shape that I got from Joann's Fabrics, paper, a pencil, uh, air drying clay, paint, as well as wood glue. But please see the description box below for more details. For the making of this mask, I am going to create a template by using a piece of paper and tracing the shape of the egg around on the paper and then cutting it out. Uh, then I'm going to take some of the air drying clay. I'm going to roll that out and then use an X-Acto knife to cut out the shape of the uh, top half of the black area of the mask for this egg shape. I wanted to make sure that this mask was as symmetrical as possible, so that's why I'm using this measuring tape to find the center of the mask. Um, then I'm going to be using um, tape you know, because it was a large round object um, as a, a way to assist me to create even circles for the eye area of the mask. Now that I've cut out my template, I'm going to be using some wood stain on the wood egg shape. Um, as you can see in this video, I was kind of taken aback at first about how dark the wood stain was. So I think if I were to do this project again, I would look for a lighter wood stain. So now that I'm letting the wood stain egg shape dry, I'm going to be taking some air dry clay and I'm going to be rolling it out to make the top half of the black area of the mask. Um, I'm using a wooden dowel to roll out the clay. I don't recommend it. I had a rolling pin that I got from the Dollar Tree, but I couldn't find it. So, you know, desperation took over, so I found the first round thing that I could find. So I don't recommend using a wooden dowel, but it's what I could grab at the time.
I have these wooden pieces in my stash, but I believe I got them originally from Michael's, but you can pretty much get them from any craft store. They just contain different shapes, and I just thought it was really appropriate and convenient for this type of project. So in a moment of transparency, I let the air drying clay uh, dry for about a day. Um, and I guess I didn't do it properly or I should have used water when working with the clay um, because when I checked on the clay section, it had cracked in multiple pieces. Um, so I tried to use more clay to kind of fill in the gaps, let it dry, it cracked again. So I had some um, spackle, some light spackle putty that I got from the Dollar Tree and I used that to fill in the cracks. Um, I would have recorded that, but I noticed it when I was um, checking on the project on its status, and so I really didn't have time to record it. Uh, so I just wanted to be completely transparent about what I experienced with working with this clay and as I was creating this project. Um, but since now I had it, it dried, and it seems to dry where it is flat, I'm just using some acrylic black paint uh, that I got from Michaels to paint this section of the mask. So now I'm just gluing down the wood piece shapes that I spray paint in red and green um, down to the mask. I noticed in the sample piece um, that it had a gold trim around the top of the mask and on the center of the mask. So I'm just using my gold um, Sharpie marker to go around those areas of the mask. So here it is, here is my DIY version of a modern African mask using an egg shape um, to create this look. And I don't know quite what I think about it yet. I've definitely seen some areas where I could improve, but hopefully give you some inspiration of what you can use in using seasonal holiday decor, such as Easter eggs, to create your own African inspired decor. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It is the motivation I need to keep on crafting. <laughs>